Let's talk about the solution. We've spent a lot of time talking about the problem. Let's talk about the antidote for all of this, and that is fascination. We are going to use the science of fashion, fascination to discover your distinct value, and hopefully you've already done that by now. I really, really, really don't want you to move on unless and until you've taken your own Fascinate Advantage assessment. So, reminder, reach out to me at this point. Text me, 801-380-8900, or email me, Cheryl at CherylKnows.com, and say, hey, I need my link to my Fascinate Advantage assessment, and we will get you well on your way. We are going to remind you of the seven Fascinate Advantages and teach you how to best communicate, influence, and fascinate utilizing your primary and your secondary advantages. You, you do communicate utilizing all seven, but you've got a primary and you've got a secondary like we talked about. Your fascination advantages are your antidote to distraction. So we want to dial in on those and get really clear and really specific about your primary, your secondary, and how they intersect so that we can then create your anthem, your two to three word tagline. Your fascination anthem is your antidote to competition and commoditization. Remembering, friends, that your brand is what people say about you behind your back. If you have a consistent tendency to be late, if you have a consistent tendency to overpromise and underdeliver, all of those things need to be cleared up so that you can create a strong, cohesive brand that people are going to resonate with and they're going to want to do business with you. Let's talk briefly about your wellspring versus quicksand. Your wellspring is your source of energy, the things that fuel you, that make you excited, that make you fired up, that are make you wanna jump out of bed with joyful, exuberant enthusiasm. Your quicksand, however, is the absolute opposite. Those are the things that make you feel like you are stuck when you see them on your calendar. You're like, ah, I don't wanna do that. For me, my quicksand is anything related to doing taxes um, or any, yeah, talk about most loved brands. The, notice the IRS was not on that list, <laughs> right? And Sally talks about the IRS and their use of leverage to get people, they, they instill fear in people. Um, the way that she phrases it is, I don't like prison food. I don't want to go to prisons. So therefore, I'm going to abide by the deadlines that have been enforced upon me so that I don't go to jail. So think about brand messages. You're going to get cued and clued into advertisements that you see on YouTube, um, that you see on any television station, if you still watch commercials. Uh, anywhere, billboards that you see, ads on the radio, start paying attention to which fascination advantage you feel like that company is trying to utilize in order to get you, the consumer, to utilize their product. 